is like quarter past five. I just got to the gym. Really did not want to get up this morning because I didn't go to bed very early and so waking up is very difficult. I'm here. I'm going to try and smash out a quick workout and then leave because I just don't want to be here. But something is better than nothing. So let's go and get this done. <laughs> friends it is now 8 30 and i just i didn't even show you the time <laughs> it's now 8 30 i just got to the shops i have a couple things i need to do this morning i need to check my PO box i need to do my grocery shopping i need to pick up a couple things at kmart let's go get a start on this shopping that i need to do i'm gonna try and print some photos at kmart as well as pick up well, I need to see what they have first. I feel like I'm at Kmart in every single vlog. I'm so sorry. I'm printing photos. It's not the same as just like shopping, you know? I'm gonna go now and start making excuses for myself and I'll talk to you guys. Probably not while I'm at Kmart because I'm just gonna like get in, get out. Later. Probably looks like I haven't moved, but I have been out for like just a bit over an hour, I think, and I got everything that I needed to get done, done. I also picked up some photos, which I'm so excited about. Oh, they look so cute. I printed out some photos as like little squares that I'm going to put above my bed. Oh my gosh, because I just felt like it was too plain up there. Look how cute. This is going to sound so dumb, but I tried to pick my most like aesthetic photos, not like the most memorable photos because I wanted to like I wanted it to look cute. I love photos and these are still memorable, but they're not like all of them the most memorable thing ever, but Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look how cute that is. Are you kidding? Oh, look at me and George. Egg team. Look how, oh, look at me and Skay. Look at us. That was two years ago. What the heck? Two years ago? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, that's where we went to schoolies. Like, are you kidding? Me living my best life at schoolies. Me and Skay living our best life at schoolies. Me and Skay again at schoolies. Like, it literally looks like an Instagram photo. I love it. But now I'm going to go home and put all my stuff away and then probably go out shopping again, but, like, a different direction completely because I need to get some Christmas shopping done. Grocery haul. Guys, look at this cute bag that I used for my fruit and vegetables. Let's go. We have a lettuce, some cabbage, some pumpkin, watermelon, pears, apples, avocado, cucumber, chili rice crackers, some mints. I was thinking about it. Like this is beef mints and I think I've had beef like maybe three or four times since I'm moving out. I got some wraps. I'm going to try out these ones this week. There's some different ones. I don't, I don't really know much about them. This is what they look like. I also got some of my favorite um, nut bars that I can just take to work with me. Some vegetable spring rolls. These are just a good snack to have in the freezer. I also just got some frozen mango go for smoothies and some bread and that's everything that I picked up today. I am back in the car again because I'm gonna go do some Christmas shopping. The Christmas shopping I'm gonna do isn't for actually anyone that I know. I'm doing these little things. So basically every year my church partners with the foster care system and obviously a lot of kids in foster care um, don't have the best life. So our church works with the foster system and we buy them gifts so that they can just have a really fun Christmas and obviously Christmas is not all about the gifts but it's kind of just a way that we can make them feel loved and bring a little bit of joy to their days especially if they are in a family that is struggling to buy lots of Christmas presents so at our church at Christmas time they put up a tree and then they hang all of these little tabs from the tree and on each of these things it tells you the age the gender and then a few things that that person likes it doesn't give you a name or anything so it's completely anonymous but it gives you, yeah, like the name, the age, and the interests or hobbies of one of these foster kids. And then you go out and buy them a gift. They say to only spend like $10 on the gifts, but I refuse to do that. I love buying gifts. It is my favorite thing ever to be able to buy gifts for people. So to be able to buy gifts for people who actually, no, I don't want to say really need it because obviously gifts are often things that you don't need. But to be able to spoil kids who often maybe don't get spoiled is such a 
a beautiful thing to me. So I got five of them. So I have a two-year-old male, a 17-year-old female, a four-year-old female, a 14-year-old female, and a 10-year-old female. I got a lot of girls because obviously I know girls better than I know guys, but let's go do some shopping for them. My camera battery is flashing, so I don't know how much I'll be able to film, but we'll see how we go. They have so many cute bowls here. I'm in Target, by the way. Like, look at those. Obviously, I'm not going to buy those for the foster kids, but like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I have a little boy who's two, and it says he loves Paw Patrol, and I've never heard of it before, but this is what it is. And I really wanted to get him one of these things, but it says three plus, and he's only two, so I guess that's not a good idea. But I could get him one of these little toys, because they're also Paw Patrol. Like, that's really cute, and then just get him something else as well, maybe. Maybe I'll just do that, because that's kind of cute for a two-year-old. And then I'll just get him, like, a truck or something, because it says he also likes those. I think I have almost everything. I have one little girl who wants some baking stuff, but Target doesn't really have any cute stuff. So I think I'm going to go to Daiso and see if they have anything because there's no Kmart here. And I don't know where else would have something. So I'll have a look and if I don't find anything, I'll go somewhere else a different day. But let's have a look and I think I'm about to check out. It is a couple of hours later now and I've just spent the afternoon kind of hustling. I was in the kitchen for I would say maybe like two and a half hours just doing a lot of cooking and stuff but I was just editing this footage and I realized that I never showed you my photo wall and I never showed you what I picked up for the foster care kids so I will show you those things. This is now what my room looks like which I think it looks so cute. I also picked up another bedside table when I was at Kmart this morning. It's not the exact same as the one over the other side but they don't sell the exact one anymore but it's very similar and I don't really care. But I'm thinking this is what my videos will look like. Hopefully maybe I guess I don't know I'm still trying to figure out how I want things to be but like the background of my sit down videos. Maybe we can do a little practice run. That's too low. I need to balance you guys on something. That looks kind of cool. Obviously, I would change it a bit when I was doing like proper sit down videos, but yay! So, I'll show you guys what I picked up for the little kids. Well, they're not even all little, but I'll show you guys what I picked up. I'm so excited. I love buying gifts for people. For the little boy, I know I showed you in the vlog footage at Target that I was thinking about getting him that little like Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol toy, but I decided against it because I found this and I just thought it was really cute. But it is this, and it's called My First Garage Playset. And it said in his little description that he really likes ambulances and stuff. And this comes with a little tiny ambulance and also a police car. It can just like, you know, play with that. And I thought it was really cute. It does say like three plus years, but I'm hoping it's still okay because all the pieces look quite big, but I guess that's up to like um, the carer's discretion. But I also found this little fire engine when I was shopping, so I picked that up to just go along with his gift as well. One of my little girls said she really wanted Barbies or puzzles, so I picked her up this little Barbie set. It's called Barbie Club Chelsea Treehouse, but it comes with a treehouse, and I thought that was so cool. This is Chelsea, and this is her treehouse, and I just thought that would be really fun, and I think I would have really liked that if I was four years old, because that is how old she is so I hope she likes that one of the girls that I had asked for drawing supplies so I just got a big like sketch pad that she can just paint or draw or do whatever she wants to do on that and then I also just got some Crayola markers some colored pencils and a little set that comes with just some gray lead pencils and an eraser and a sharpener so I thought that would just be a good little bunch of things to give her so she can enjoy that I also I also had a 17 year old girl and she asked for makeup or hair accessories I think it was so I decided to get her this Chi Chi palette I was looking at the Chi Chi palettes in the store and they looked so beautiful and I love my Chi Chi palettes all of the eyeshadows that I've tried from Chi Chi are honestly incredible and so I thought this was a good like drugstore gift to give her and it is a palette I won't open it up because obviously it's a gift but that's what it looks like on the back and when I swatched it and saw the tester in store it looked amazing so I'm really hoping she likes that and then the last little girl I had asked for baking supplies or anything to do with unicorns. So firstly, I just saw this and I thought it was really cute. It's just a little DIY set where you can make your own little unicorn headband, which I thought was really cute. And then I got her some baking stuff from Daiso, like I told you guys in the little vlog footage that I had. So firstly, I thought this was so cute. It's a little like cake tin in the shape of a heart so she can make a cake that's a heart shape. Is that not so cute? I also got this little set. It just comes with like a little strainer and a little 
a bowl, I guess. But I just thought this would be good because she could just use that as a little mixing bowl and then use a strainer or the whatever this is called. But it also matched with these little things that I got. So I just got a little whisk and a little spatula and they match and I thought that was really cute. I didn't know whether to get the pink one or the mint one, but I thought it was safer to go with mint because I don't know if all girls like pink. You can't just go assuming those things, you know? And then lastly, I just got these little cupcake what are they called? Papers or whatever. But that is all the things that I picked up for my little foster care friends. I hope they like them. Obviously, I don't know who they are, so I don't know what they're going to like and what they're not going to like, but I tried my best. But I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I know it's already way too long. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and also turn on the post notification bell if you haven't because we all know that there are issues with YouTube. It's just not a great time. But I think that's everything. So I guess I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Good bye. I just had to let you know you're